This video covers the general operation and maintenance for your new equipment. Every operator should watch this video before using the machine. Provided with your machine was an operator's manual. If you have not read this document, please pause this video and do so before continuing. This video provides information that is general and not tailored for your specific cleaning application. It does not take into consideration the health and safety risks specific to your application. Due to the many and various cleaning applications, the manufacturer, importer, distributor or seller of this equipment is not responsible for its performance. So, let's get into it. Alright, this, um, this is our smallest ride on scrubber that we have available. This is what we call the 66 BM70. This is a 66 scrubbing wheel with the um, 70 litre water capacity. So basically this is battery operated obviously. Underneath you see here we have the uh, battery charger. So it's all built into the machine. We've got the cable which we can then unwind and plug. This here plugs into a, um, a 10 amp. It's just a 10 amp power socket. It's not a 15 amp, so it's just your standard, standard power socket. Now the batteries that we run in this machine are a gel sealed battery, they're not an acid, so they're fully sealed, maintenance free. Um, it means you don't have to worry about topping it up with acid and you generally get good life out of it. So you'll get um, on run time with this machine, you'll get a good round about the five hours, obviously depending on the surface, five hours run time. Um, and then you're looking at about six to seven hours charging time if you're recharging it. Uh, the batteries on this machine, uh, you get up to about 800 charges out of the batteries as far as life goes. Okay, so our clean water's in the front, our waste water's in the back here. Um, what we have here is a, a basket which will capture all the large objects as you're picking up the water. Uh, means you can pull this out and clean it easily. Then you have a filter on our suction line which needs to be pulled out and inspected after each use. It can be rinsed out under a tap, rinsed out, make sure it's dry and put back in. And we have a, 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 a float, a ball float, which basically um, as the water comes up it picks up the ball and then blocks off your suction. This is to stop any moisture getting into your suction motor. One thing you need to be aware of is that you don't have too much foaming because the foam will not pick up the ball and therefore the foam will get into your suction motor and obviously the, uh, if moisture is in your suction motor it's not something that you'll be able to claim under warranty. So that's something you just need to make sure that you don't have too much foaming um, in the tank. If you do you can obviously change the type of chemical, reduce the amount of chemical or you can put an anti-foamer in the tank. As far as putting water in your tank, we've got a, um, a hose fit in here so it's very easy to connect your hose straight on. Uh, this is an easy fill so you can fill it up as you're doing something else to the machine. Um, and it's got a little float in there so once the water level comes up to its maximum it will trigger off and block off the water supply so it doesn't spoil everywhere. This here is where you put your chemical, they can be removed, you can either put your, your chemical and your water in there as well and it can run up to 40 degrees in temperature so you can run warm water in it. Now this hose here is what will tell you how much water you've got inside the um, tank and also this is a way of emptying the clean water if you wish to do so. So to um, take off your brushes off this machine is extremely easy. It's just a matter of a, a, a push button which I'll show you the button in more detail in a minute. But if we hold this button down for three seconds, the brushes will drop off and they can be easily removed. Now we obviously have a series of different brushes and we have pad holders, so um, depending on the application we can put a variety of different ones on. So it's a very easy setup of removing them. Put the brush underneath, make sure the other one's underneath there. Then to put your brushes on, you uh, lower, lower it, go to operate the brushes, and then the brushes are now on. So it's a very easy off on you know, way of uh, putting your brushes off and on. So this is your handle for lowering your brushes. 
So this handle can be extended and you're giving more leverage if you need it. You can drop the brush down. Uh, and as you go, the brush is engaged. And then you can use this to just lift up the brushes. So you'll notice the brushes won't go while it's in its upward position. Only when they're down will the brushes run. And as soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, the brushes will stop. So with the squeegee, this is another wear and uh, service item for your machine. Um, this, the squeegee assembly can be easily removed. The hose can come off. Undo this, pull off your, your squeegee assembly. Now these squeegee blades are obviously a wear item. They will wear over time. What you can do is you can release these wing nuts and obviously rotate it and spin your rum squeegee around so you will get up to the four edges to it. Good habit to pull this off regularly and just inspect it and you're making sure it stays clean. You can also remove your, um, your suction hose and inspect it and make sure nothing's caught. Now when flushing out your waste tank, this can be, um, you can drop your water by releasing it out of this hose. Very easy to take your cap off, you can um, kink your hose and then release the water. Now if you want to flush everything out of the tank, this cap can also be removed and you can get larger objects out if need be or if you're sort of getting all the water out of your tank. We've also got some little holders here, so if you want to run a, a mop on here or a, um, a squeegee or something else if you're doing some of your tighter areas. Here is our um, key switch. Obviously you've got a key. Orange light tells you the key is on. This is the hour meter. And these are some circuit breakers. So if the machine overloads, these are circuit breakers which will trip out um, and they can be easily reset by pushing them back in. Now this is the switch that we use for dropping off your brushes. So if I hold that down for th three seconds, your brushes have just dropped off and then they can be pulled out. Also this handle here is to lower the squeegee. So you'll notice when I lower it, you, you, your suction motor will come on. When I raise it, that suction motor will keep operating for at least ten seconds. That means that when you pull your squeegee up, you're not leaving water trailed everywhere. So you'll notice as I drop it, the suction motor comes on. As I pull it up, that'll stay on for about 10 seconds. And um, keep running to keep, sort of get rid of all your moisture. Thank you for your time. And we hope this video has been helpful. Remember that regular maintenance of your machine is recommended to optimize its life cycle.